Welcome in session 90E from the Occasional Studio 12, where we will look uh, in a couple of moments at the second example, uh, treating the transformation of a classical iterative algorithm to a recursive iterative algorithm. But now, uh, still concluding what we talked about in the previous session, so we have here the a recursive iterative algorithm, but this is then uh, a, a tailed recursion, a tail recursion, where you uh, uh, have uh, added as parameters to your call all the information that you need to go on with your iteration by calling the function again. Here, this is not the case. You only have one counter, so one parameter in this case that is changing, and that will be stopped. And that will be stopped if this condition is not true anymore. And we can write it here as this way because we know that for this uh, parameter it's a natural number, and we are discounting and eh, this subtracting each time one uh, one uh, from the number and so it will stop when it reaches zero okay let's go to for well, tail recursion non tail recursion let's go to a second example and the second example is the calculation or the uh, yeah the not the calculation but the how do you call it the determination or the computation of the greatest common denominator of two integers more specifically two uh, natural values uh, I suppose you know how the greatest uh, common, uh, the greatest common denominator of two natural values uh, uh, is calculated or in any way you know what it is let's take two values by uh, for instance uh, 100 and why not 26 and then the other one uh, well, maybe we can use, maybe I have something here, 84. What is the greatest uh, common denominator? So what is the greatest natural number that divides both numbers with a, a remainder of zero? Well, one way to do it, uh, if you have no computer or no online tool that can help you, is to uh, 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 factor uh, factor div or split the numbers up in their uh, prime numbers uh, so what you're going to do is the following you're going to decompose both numbers in their prime factorings uh, factors so how do you do that well you divide always the number by the smallest prime number that you uh, find uh. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to discuss about prime numbers. I hope you know what they are. So the smallest that I can use here is 2. And then we have uh, 60, 63, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Then I can divide by 3. 2 is not possible. And then what do we have? 20, I think 21. And then 21 uh, divided again by 3 is 7. And 7 is a prime number on its own. So 7 and then we uh, end with 1. So 120, 126 yeah, can be written as uh, 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 7. We're not uh, adding 1 because 1 is not a prime number. Yeah? If you're not uh, sure about that, read about it on the internet or somewhere else. 1 is not a prime number. So this is the only on a commutation, eh? only com you can uh, commute, uh, commute the... the, the factors if you want that's the only thing you can do this is the unique prime uh, factor uh, decomposition of 126 we do the same with 84 divide by 2 and have 42 42 divided by 2 is 21 21 divided by 3 is 7 and 7 divided by 7 is 1 so here we can we, here we can write that as follows that 84 is uh, 2 to the, the power of 2 times 3 times 7. Well, what is the greatest common denominator then? Well, you have to take all the factors that are uh, uh, present in both decompositions. So we have 7, yeah, 7, we have 3, yeah, we have 3, and we have 2. Yeah? So that means that the greatest, uh, uh, greatest, 
common denominator from 126 and 84 will be 2 times 3 times 7, but always to the lowest power of the, the, so the, the common uh, factors in the decomposition. So it's 2. Watch out, this is to the first, eh? we normally don't write it, but it's to the first, to, to the first. 3 is here to the second, that is true, but here to the first, and this is square, but this is to the first, to the first, and this is also in both decompositions to the first. So we have 6 times 7, and 6 times 7, seven if I'm not mistaken, is 42. So this should be the uh, greatest common denominator of both uh, values. And there are a, a lot of uh, algorithms to do that uh, by iteration and by computer. Uh, this is uh, naive, so it means a very simple um, uh, way to do it, but it works. And there are a lot of a lot of better ways to do it, but we are going to here end the discussion about the great com uh, greatest common denominator, because we are talking about this here, eh? so we have to take, take uh, that into account now. But this is naive manner, so we're going to do a manner. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, uh, search for the, the minimal value of both. And then you're going to start with that greatest value. So you're going to start with uh, the minimal value of 126 and 84 will be 84. And then you're going to try to divide uh, the both values by that value. So 126 divided by 84. Yeah, you can see that uh, right away the, the remainder will never be zero. Here for 84 divided by 84, yeah, it's just uh, the, the, the result is one and the remainder is zero, that's true. But now you're gonna uh, decrease or subtract uh, each time you go to the uh, through the uh, uh, loop by one. So it's 83, 82, 81, that's what's happening here, 80 and so on. And once you will come, uh, will arrive at 42, what you will see is that when you're dividing uh, 126 uh, by that value, also 84, that the remainder will be zero. So the loop will be left and the value will be returned, namely the value of 42. Yeah? That's the classical and very naive way to do it. But now is the question, how can we write a recursive iterative function for that. <clears throat> well, we are here, let's take uh, some place here. So for starters, we have to uh, to make or to set up a name protected. Yeah, I'm writing actual Java code, as you see. I hope you don't mind. Uh, you can also try to write it in pseudocode or something else. Uh, an integer value will be returned, more specifically a natural value, and it's the greatest common denominator, but this time the recursive iterative algorithm. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, have to uh, uh, have the first parameter, of course, so the first value, the second value, but here once again it's not enough, uh, so we have to add something else, namely that value that always will be there, we have to take it into account and to see that we uh, yeah, have a notion of it, that we can monitor it, but I will write it later. So then I, uh, I hope, no, I don't know if I have uh, enough place, so a bit uh, further. Uh, and then we have, of course, the, the, the stop value. And what is it? what will be the stop value? Well, of the stop crit criterion, if you want. Well, you can see that if uh, I decrease all the time, so that's something that you have to see, of course. If you decrease all the time, at a certain moment, I will reach the value of 1. Eh? For instance, if I have here two prime numbers, for instance, let's say 7 and 5, well, they are only divided by themselves and by one so the, the greatest common denominator will be one check it out if you're not certain anyway that means if i go back a bit because all the stuff in on my uh, slide here that will it means that the while uh, loop will actually stop at one because if i divide by one whatever number it will be the remainder will be zero if i take whatever number, the 2307 divided by 1, yeah, well, uh, the, so that is 2307, and there's a 2307, and the remainder is 0, yeah, so that's my stop criteria, let's say, and that I have to implement here in my uh, 
my recursive uh, loop. So I will write here if, but now I have to know, of course, that value. Well, it's, it's only possible if I add a third parameter here and I will call it PC. So if PC reaches uh, one, so is equal to one, then I know that I have to stop and that the, common, the greatest common denominator will be one. So if you write one, you can do it, but you can also write uh, PC because they are the same. If you can see else, yeah, here we have our general or our, let's call it recursive case. And this is the basic case. And what will we will what do we have to do now? Well, yeah, that's a lot of work still. So if and we will recuperate the condition that is mentioned here. So if uh, uh, my P A uh, and then in Java, so we have to take the remainder. Yeah, you have to see which uh, code or which language you're using because it can be, uh, be different in other languages. But in Java, to find the remainder of a uh, of an uh, integer uh, div division, you have to do it this way, check it out if you want. So if that is equal to zero, and also I will write Java, and also the other value, uh, the remainder of it is equal to zero, yeah, is equal to zero, yeah, well, then you have found, I have not much plates here anymore, so I have to put it down, then then you found your uh, greatest common denominator, so you will return, you will return, yeah, you will return PC. Uh, I will go, yeah, I will go a bit, I know, I can change this here. Else, else, uh, in, in the case that some, one of the both or both or the remainder is not zero, well, you will return, you will return what? Well, again, this is the recursive call, the G, G, GT, GCT, R, I, A of the values P, A, M because they remain the same. Eh? Those are the two values. What was it uh, last time? 126 and 84, I think. Eh? They remain the same. But what you will do is the naive way. I know it. I know that there are better ways, but we are now talking about this naive way to find the GCD. And here you will write and so I have, a, I, have a, I have an error here, it must be PB of course, some of you have already saw that, and here then PC minus 1, that uh, what is what you're going to do, uh, it's close my brackets, close my brackets and close my brackets, because what will happen now, well it will return to the recursive, it will do a recursive call, but with a value le uh, 1 less, and then yeah, maybe now you have the chance that or you reached one and then you always return this value or that you have now found by uh, subtracting one to the counter that they are both uh, uh, give remainder of zero for the two values that you are uh, uh, scrutinizing. yeah? Of course, is that all right? So if you say, yeah, but I'm not, uh, I'm not satisfied with the fact that uh, I have to add a third parameter here, then you can uh, yeah, make another uh, function, yeah, and, and there's an induced uh, uh, recursion then, protected, and we're going to write it here on the same slide, I uh, don't have much place, so int must be static here, I think, in our case, and then you can write something pre, pre G C D R I E R I A yeah, with then your parameters int P A uh, and int P B, yeah, and the only thing that you do in that pre uh, greatest common denominator uh, recursive iteration algorithm, well, the only thing that you do is calling then one time your actual recursive iteration. So what you're going to write here is then return. Sometimes it's done also, I think, so typically merge, sort, and, and uh, another uh, well-known uh, recursive uh, iterative algorithms work that way. But I will write here then return one time G, C, D, uh, oh, I forgot to add the R, I, A, and then P, A, uh, P, B, and then you can add your counter, and your counter can then start uh, at the, uh, what is it, the, the minimal value, and this this minimal value of the both values, because here, or you should write it, uh, add it here, or you can, let the computer do that so that you in your code only have to write this yeah
but then I have to add it here and I don't have much play, place. I will do it here. So here you can yeah, directly, it's once again a direct Java code. Uh, so the, oh, not the apps, it's the wrong one. It's the min that I did use. I don't know why I'm getting tired, I suppose. Uh, min of P A and P B, and that you write behind it, and then it should be okay with the, uh, this semicolon behind it. Yeah. So that's the way to go. Uh, well, let's see what we have here. So forty, and then voila. You know, you can uh, steal the video if you want, and then you can copy if you're interested. But this is then the actual Java code that is working and is doing the thing. Uh, we can do another uh, last one, uh, but uh, just looking what it is. Yeah, I will come back in the uh, last uh, session with uh, a third uh, example. But here we will stop.